Hot Wars. Teams from across the country with their homemade machines battling it out in search of glory. With all new knockout fights, arena hazards, and even tougher competition, who will become the new Robot Wars champion? Let battle commence. Our first three teams head out for Group Battle 1. Only one winner from each of the group battles automatically goes through to the semi-finals. The losers must fight again in the robot redemption battles to decide who will join them. Behemoth, Vipper, Donald Thump, Vertical Spinner, Saber Tooth, Drum Spinner. Three, two, two one. Activate. Behemoth moves in from the right hand side, immediately there to attack Saber Tooth. Sabretooth with a, a new entanglement weapon in there. Donald Dunn comes in there with an attack as well. Donald Dunn with the weapon trying to create mayhem in the arena. And now dodging away. Big Bearmore comes in and is flipped up. Oh, he lands well though. And look at that. And straight back on the attack. There's Sabretooth crunching it on Donald Dunn. You can see the Donald Trump weapon whirring, but not creating too much damage. Bearmoth with the flipper there, and Pritchard at the controls. Can be an angry man, can be a very good robot here. And at the moment, dancing out there with Sabretooth, and Donald Thump is quiet. The Dial of Doom is activated. Looking to battle, oh, Bearmoth. Saw Sabretooth go down into the pit there. Are they still active? Drop it down. As we come towards the end of the first battle, will it go to the judges? But this is going to be very tight. Good, OK, the winner is Behemoth. Behemoth wins that one. Congratulations. You're not out. Well done, but well done. Well done. That, that was amazing. It was a good one, wasn't it? It was a good one. One proper clap yeah, both yeah. of you. Excellent. Yeah. Let's have more fights. Time to find out who'll be joining Ant in the semi-finals from our second group battle. Apollo. Flipper. Apocalypse. Ant. Bart. The Swarm. Cluster. Look at the little cluster bots. Do they have any chance against Apollo? Apollo lost its crowd in the last series. That's why Dave brought in brother Alan, one of the best roboteers in the country. And Apollo trying to flip one of those tiny little cluster bots up into the air while Apocalypse, by and large, stays out of trouble. I don't know how you're supposed to fight those things. Noel's <laughs> loving it in the judges' booth. Apocalypse goes into the corner patrol zone, needs to get out of there. Wearing one of Mike's famous hats, Ian Watts controls the swarm. Is it weapon working? No. What? I'm got no it. No axe. Are they too lightweight really to cause any damage? It's difficult to see how they can survive. They won't survive like that. And Apollo with a mighty flip. And Shaquille is into play as well. And the swarm bees around the wasp. The honey thought belongs to Apollo and Apocalypse on the evidence thus far. And Apollo wants to take on Apocalypse and nearly got flipped up. Apocalypse with the grabbing arms, Apollo comes back and does the flipping damage there. Look at that huge amount of CO2 venting from Apollo, such a powerful flipper. Look at the focus of Dave Young at the controls of Apollo. Apocalypse. Nearly into orbit. Now on the flame pit. Sir Killalock's pincers at the ready. Not where we want to be. Not where we want to be. Ed Wallace needs to get Apocalypse out of there. Where are they going now? Apocalyptic visions lie ahead. Just stay alive. Apollo comes in on one of the little swarm buzzers. And I don't think it'll be buzzing for very long. Apollo with that. Huge, 100mm bore, full pressure ram with five tons of force. A giant against the middles! Oh, oh, oh. oh yes! 
that over the screen. Well done. It flew. It literally flew. They're still out there punching away. Ian Watts. Young Sam is out there as well. We're actually on fire now. But look at the gaze once again. The apocalypse boys seem to be finished. Oh, it's sort of the bloody pit. <laughs> apocalypse is on the flame pit and certainly has been immobilised earlier, I would think, than the swarm minnows. A couple of them are still out there fighting, though, as long as two are OK. They're still alive. Down goes the dial of doom. Down goes the pit. We've yet to see the fog of war brought into play. We will do, I'm sure. Chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me towards the pit. Oh, who did that? Me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It was a great tactic. Tonight's final between Behemoth and Apollo. champions with a score to settle. In the other corner, Behemoth. After their controversial exit last series, can they finally realise their dreams? Dreams 20 years in the making. Could be a very, very close battle. Three, two, one. Apollo Damn is it. the faster machine. Apollo will try and get the flipper underneath Behemoth. Behemoth should be able to self-right. But will this be over very quickly because they're in the CPZ? But to kill a lot is in there and means business. Oh, well done. And Pritchard getting them out of danger, but only momentarily. Can they sustain this sort of damage, this sort of assault, this sort of aggression from the Apollo boys who are really flying? The floor spikes have been mended, thanks very much for taking the money out of my pocket for that. Apollo now chasing Behemoth across the arena floor. Ooh, a little bit edgy. Side of them off to the Apollo. Oh, we'll have a massive upset here. The Dial of Doom is released. Can't see anything. Can't see anything. They missed the track. self right Can they self right They need to very, very quickly. They have done. Into reverse. Straight onto the flipper of Apollo. Oh, so close. Very nearly the end of Bearmoth. But into the side wall of the arena only. Bearmoth backing through the spikes. More luck than judgment there, I feel. But they really are causing problems for Apollo. And Apollo needs to self right there on the flame pit. Can they do? Yes, they have got enough supply to get that self righting mechanism working. This is a brilliant heat final. Quick, get behind him, get behind him, get behind him. It's nip and tuck so far. Again, the attack of Apollo. Trying to get in underneath Bearmoth. They need to dodge the pit. Apollo are down! Apollo are down! Smash down Apollo! Bearmoth, the greatest moment in 20 years! 20 years of hurt and grief! And with few celebrations and frustration for Apollo. You're in there, you're not going to get out now, Apollo. 19 years in the waiting, that is. 19 years yes. for you to win a final. We, our first time out, we got through to the, we won our heat final. Yep. And then we've been waiting ever since. It was 19 years in the making, but it was a brilliant win and a great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Behemoth!